I'm John Mons, and I'm running to be the Libertarian Party's nominee for president. My background is I'm a native of Detroit, Michigan. But I've lived for the past 20 years down in the small town of Cairo, Georgia. I have a degree from Morehouse College in bank, with a concentration in banking and finance. But for those last uh, 20 years, I've had the dream job of my life. I've been a stay-at-home dad and a homeschool parent. And <laughs> two of my students are college graduates. My daughter's a senior at the age of 19, and I have one uh, son who's still at home. I've been married for 22 years. Why am I running? I'm running, the ins I've thought about it for a number of years, but the inspiration and the thing that took me over the top to join the race was to honor my great-great-grandparents who were actually enslaved in, in Georgia. I could not sit on the sideline and not participate in a race and on a platform to make sure that we end the amount of slavery that's being reinstituted in this country and all the things that are going on around the world. What's my message? My message is this. I want to deliver a principled libertarian message and a campaign that the libertarian party can be proud of. At the end of the campaign, we should have a candidate who is not confused with a Democrat or Republican. The people should be very clear on what a libertarian stands for. Now, like the previous candidates, I think we have a great field. We're talking about ending these wars immediately. We're talking about bringing the troops home, ending the federal income tax, getting government out of education. But it's how we deliver that message, and how would I do that? First of all, I've had experience. I've run campaigns in the past. And I've had the honor, for, honor in my four campaigns that I run as a Libertarian to garner over 1.8 million votes for the Libertarian Party. I've been on national debates. Uh, I've been on uh, televised debates. And I've been in a situation when I ran for governor to actually force the eventual winner to take my position and actually sign a law in support of it. And that was uh, Sunday sales in the state of Georgia. I forced him into committing that if the law was passed, he would sign it, and that's exactly what he did. So we can win without necessarily having to win the election. Where will I take my message? I'm gonna take it to everywhere. I think I can reach out to communities that aren't traditionally libertarian, and I've done that in the past, and I'll speak to anybody and everybody that's interested in hearing the message. I ask that you put me in a debate. I can go into more detail of how and what I'd like to do Visit my website, moz2020.com, and if this resonates, uh, please donate. Thank you.